What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I wanna to talk about payroll. Uh, make sure you're up to date, just click on help and check for updates. So we were able to calculate the technician hours based on paid invoices, but the struggle was, what if, so, what if one of the customers, what if the technician finished the job and gotta get paid this week, but the customer has not paid the invoice? So that was a struggle. I know Techmetric has this option, but now we have this option too. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's just create an, an estimate real quick and just say alignment and um, I'm gonna authorize it, authorize it. So now it's an invoice. So let's say the alignment was done by Andrew and you're gonna see a checkbox right now. That checkbox means that job is completed. So you can always uncheck it or check it. And if it's a part, you can use that for part two. Let's say, you know, brake pads, you can check it as it was ordered or not. So it's just a status thing. So let's go ahead and check it. So now assume that this invoice is not paid, but let's assume we are at the end of the week and we want to pay our employees, but we want to pay him for this. So the, the challenge was we could have done that before but we want to make sure there's no duplicate. We don't want to pay the, the employee twice for it as when we close this invoice and the customer comes back. So let me show you how that works. We're going to go to reports right here. And now we have a button called payroll. We click on that. You have two options, view paychecks or pay employees. We're going to click on that. Click sold, uh, sold hours, salary is coming soon. And it's going to bring us, this, it's going to show all our employees and from Andrew, Sam, or what, what, how many employees you have. So we're gonna look for this week. We can see that all the hours that they did, including the unpaid, basically completed job. So if you look at the note at the bottom, it says tech hours are calculated from invoices that have completed jobs and paid invoices. So if they're fully paid, we're gonna see those hours. And if the job is marked as completed, it's gonna you're gonna see this hours. So make sure whether uh, if it's uh, if it's in progress or it belongs to a statement, make sure you mark it as completed if the job is completed, so you can pay your employee. Let's say I want to pay Andrew right here. Um, we're gonna click on Andrew right here, and we're gonna see all the hour, all the jobs that he did basically from from this period to this period but the good news you can change that too now so i can say from let's say from thursday um to thursday and click submit so i can see everything i can pay him for from this period to this period so click on pay let's go back i just want to pay him for this week let's just stick from monday to sunday it's the easiest way because once you switch that it gets really complicated to keep up so let's say from monday to sunday and this is all the hours that he did total hours is 11.8 and that's his total total earnings we're gonna click on pay you can see a lot of details right here i'm not gonna talk about these details just click on pay if you click on pay all you do basically is marking it as paid so if i click on pay we'll talk about these details in the future but let's click on pay right now confirm and exit what happened all these hours are marked paid right now why do we want to mark in paid because we want to make sure when we close whatever unpaid invoices, we don't want to pay the, the technician again for the same thing that we already paid him. So if you look up here under invoices, you see the one are on the orange color, that means those invoices are still in progress. And the one that, that it's already like a different color, the blue, that means it's already paid by the customer. So let's click on exit what happened here you're not gonna see this employee because you already paid him so how do I know I paid him I click on payroll click on view paychecks and we're gonna see the paychecks right there we paid Andrew if I click on Andrew I can see all the the hours that I paid him for including in progress or fully paid in progress it's gonna say in progress fully paid invoice is gonna give you the date when it was paid so so it's really cool. I mean, if you made a mistake, all you have to do is just click on delete, confirm, and just like that, if I go to payroll, pay employees, sold hours, I can see Andrew again. So it's really cool. The whole idea basically is solved one problem, and the problem is we wanna pay 
the employees for the completed jobs even if the customer has not picked up his car and paid for the invoice and we want to make sure we don't know when we close that invoice when a customer comes back we want to make sure we don't that hours don't show up again right here so um, we're going to continue advancing payroll and um, basically we want to let you pay um, if you see salary so if you want to pay somebody you can we're not going to go too deep into payroll where it's going to be like um social security when did he start is he married i'm not going to go that that's just too much and all the rates as social security rates and all that they continue to change we're not going to do that but we want to do one thing if you notice right here if i click on pay we do want the summary of it so if i want to keep track of employee taxes i can just the summary of it and if i want to keep track of company taxes just a summary of it yes we do want to do that anyway until next time thanks for watching